Hey everybody, Mark here, and I've had a couple questions about my filament delivery system. I do live in South Georgia, and humidity is a big factor um, in 3D printing. The higher humidity you have in your plastic, the more bubbling you can see. And about two years ago, I was having a lot of problems uh, with bubbling my prints. I did not know if it was from my machine that I was using before, or from my extruder, or whatever. So I wanted to uh, reduce the variables and have the filament come out the same every time. Now on the Prusa i3 Mark II, they do have filament above head and it works out great guys. There's nothing wrong with this. If you have good filament and a low humidity area, you shouldn't have any problems printing. Um, but I want to step beyond and I again, I said I built this about two years ago and it's it's really simple. I picked up this container. This is a Rubbermaid container. Um, it fit with a filament I ordered from Ulti machine um, so it fits just right it's just the right size they have different size containers but these are really inexpensive I want to say they're seven dollars for the container so the containers pretty cheap I use this container to keep the filament I have ones that don't have drills on the top of them and I'll keep the filament in with a desiccant bag inside um, but the bottom you might be able to see I have some roller bearings I 3d printed this base and I'll try to post this so people can maybe modify it but I 3d printed this base um, and then the spool fits right on top of it and you might be able to see if I pull this That it just it it, it will uh, it will roll pretty smoothly That was another problem that I was having when I was printing was the um, When the roll was spinning that if it shakes or anything um, you might actually see some miss printing in your machine so this keeps a constant um, you can basically have a constant tension on the filament while this is spinning let's start at the top right here this is a two millimeter right there um, you know again this is two millimeter PTFE tubing that goes into a two millimeter quick disconnect I found these on eBay uh, I got 10 for maybe five dollars they're pretty inexpensive and all I do is you can press down you can take the you can actually take this tube out see the tube just comes right out um, uh, when I was looking I found some that had other types of connectors but what I liked about these was it was actually a double so you can see on the back side I was able to put another little piece of filament right there or another piece of tubing right there um, so it can even guide inside the canister um, this is airtight so I drilled the hole a little bit small and I put two nuts on either side of it um, so this is an airtight solution um, while I'm not printing I usually put a bag of desiccant on top uh, and I can bring this whole canister down to less than 10% uh, humidity and I think that the gauges maybe only go down to 10 um, I did find those I don't know if I have any laying down here oh here's one um, but these little ones again I found them on eBay um, but I was able to put them right inside uh, to see what my relative humidity inside the canister was or inside the case was um, what else do I have on this thing oh I got a piece of uh, shrink wrap uh, tubing and I made my own little cleaner here I was finding that I was getting a little bit of a uh, junk that was accumulating on it so I just put that on there that sl slides right on and uh, just like every other machine now it let's bring this off to the side there we go just like every other machine it, it goes up and around and then this just goes right into the extruder so it's really really simple um, I will try to post some of the hardware that I use for this um, because everybody's filament containers or everybody's rolls are different sizes you might be able to find this canister um, you know I think they sell them wider as well as bigger um, so you can try to build your own um, I did experiment with drilling holes in this I was I lucked out this was the right size for my filament but you can drill a hole in the side of it and have a bar going right through it and do the same kind of idea um, then put some ball bearings in there if you want to leave the filament in um, but the filament again it just comes around the tube it goes right into here so there's not really anything changed with that and that is my current filament delivery system uh, it works out great I'm having awesome prints here's let's see here's a uh, here's two pretty pretty uh, tall prints I didn't have any problems printing them uh, two two millimeter walls I'm trying to actually print some rockets um, so I made this really cool kind of uh, fractured shape or low polygon shape and I'm trying to print this really 
cool super tall rocket coming up and and uh that's actually my next project so hey guys if you like what i'm doing please subscribe if you have any more questions about this uh please leave them down below and i'll leave as much information i can so you can try to build your own happy printing <laughs>